All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unranked 2 Diamond series. Uh, we're currently in Platinum 4 right now. We're also up against a set. We'll show you guys how to play against it. Let's get into it. Uh, for the runes, we have the Conquer page. You know, same thing as usual. Uh, together with uh, Triumph, Alacrity, we also have Last End. Uh, we've also got Nimbus Cloak and Transcendence. Got to keep in mind that we're currently in smurf queue. Like, everybody is around plat 4, but everybody's, like, smurfing. Like, literally half the game right now is a smurf. So that's going to be quite interesting. This guy's pushing really hard, actually. Sure. Okay. Oh, he's pushing it really hard. Okay, as soon as we make it to level 2, especially level 3 is when this lane really starts off. Like, if Seth actually does push like this, it's pretty hard to get into the lane. Not sure why he's pushing it like that crazy, to be honest, but... It's in my- it's definitely in my favor right now. Like, we can slow build the- we can slow build the wave right now. Let me use my potion right here. Let's we'll see if I can get like a push on him right now. Maybe we can get like an early kill on this guy as soon as we hit level 3. Nice. Not, not too bad for me. At least I can get a trade off right now. Okay, let's go. I uh, used uh, the high cooldowns of Set to my advantage. I baited out his abilities. Like, I forced a train on him. And I know that Set's cooldowns are higher than Riven's cooldowns. So if I go in immediately, I will instantly get a free kill. Pretty nice strategy to get like an early kill on Set, but you do need to get Ignite to make that work. Like, this only works with Ignite. If you go for TP and you do that strat, it's not going to work very well. Also, guys, just a quick mention. Uh, while being like halfway in this game right now, uh, I've made some changes to my camera today. Like uh, my webcam. And uh, yeah, it turns out it's pretty dark right now. I got to fix that, but I just figured out like halfway being in the game right now. So uh, yeah, just so you guys know. Nothing I can do about it now, but next episode, I promise you guys, it's uh, going to get fixed again, alright? So yeah, we have a dark camera in this game today. Which I guess is not an issue, like, <laughs> we're into the game anyway, so... <laughs> no problem. Okay, so let's get back to base. Uh, we're going to go with Fage. Along with this, I'll take a Dorance Blade, and I'll definitely get a Country Ward and another Potion. Now, this is going to be really interesting, because Set appears to have made a mistake while trying to roam down here. Which means he actually loses like quite a bit of farm right here, which is going to be favored for me. We're about to get Ignite back in like one minute right now, so that's going to be in my favor as well. It's looking really good so far. Stack on my Q so he doesn't see it. Back off out of his E again. He's got long cooldown, so we can actually trade him right now. I want to try to. Here we are. Good. <clears throat> oh, we gotta avoid this E. He's gonna E right here. We could kill him right now. Okay, here we go. He's dead. Sweet. His W was on a very massive long cooldown. So we just got another catch right here. Great. And we push again. We gotta ensure that the entire wave gets on our tower before we go back to base, obviously. I actually want to get some plates too, but by the time it's on our tower, like, it's going to be too late anyways. Okay. 
Okay, time to go back. Leave the way it is. So we can come back with um we can come back with Ruby Crystal now and the tier one boots. Take another potion because we're going to need that for trading this guy. In terms of farm, like we're pretty much equal, but like in terms of like XP, we're definitely pretty far ahead of set right now. And we got ignite back too, so the moment we come back in lane, we're just gonna be doing the exact same strategy like we did before. I will try to outplay him through using his you know, timing his abilities. And then uh Wait, he's actually roaming. Okay, sure. Let's hard push. He's roaming, so we're gonna have to push it as quickly as possible. Nice. Also, by the way, just saying, like it just just comes into my into my head right now. <laughs> Yesterday, I was going through YouTube comments, and I read multiple YouTube comments of you guys like saying how 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 you guys are like addicted to me saying a noise <laughs> you guys got me there for a second seriously oh but sometimes i just go through like youtube comments and i'm just like completely laughing like so hard just reading like what you guys are saying sometimes it's just so funny man I, I I see some of the most funniest YouTube comments. <laughs> Alright, let's try this guy again. Okay, sidestepping his E. Let's see, his E is still on cooldown. We could actually trade him again right now. Of course, we're going to shield out of that one. We could kill him right now, but we have to take a very smart approach. Yeah, that's not going to work for you, my man. He's got no ultimate anymore, so... Good luck to this guy. It's not going to work. He's going to go for the CS. Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. It wasn't fully charged anyway. I can kill him right now in our tower. Watch this. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> uh, no way, actually. I could, I could have just flashed out, honestly. But I did not, ex I, I did not expect that the last turret shot was gonna kill me, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I thought I was gonna live. But uh, yeah, super unfortunate that Set actually flashed out. I. Did not expect that, I actually. Whatever. It's fine. My lane is uh my lane is fine the way it is. I'm not worried at all. This game is looking incredibly good right now. I think we could probably try to get a catch here, maybe. Wait, give me a second. No, never mind. Let's push it out completely. We have the advantage right now. Because if he goes back to base, I'm going to get like multiple plates. And if he TPs for it, then he's going to lose the opportunity to roam. So like either way, it's going to be favored for me. <clears throat> okay, nothing. He's gonna backport. Yeah, he can't backport. I'm gonna freeze this wave. I'm definitely not gonna touch this wave because I just wanted to crash towards me. Nice. He's gonna lose a massive wave. Oh, he's going to TP probably. Let's see what he's going to do. Yep. 
He's going to come back strong because he got the kill me earlier. He's actually got a steel caps and he got iron spike and he got the other item. Hmm. I'm not. I'm still not too worried about him to be honest. He got all of these items, but I think we can still outplay him anyways. Like similar like we did before. We just have to get like one trade off on him. If he uses all of his abilities, we follow up with Ignite afterwards, and then we should be able to kill him again. He's roaming right now. I'm gonna push. I like how he's trying to roam, but it's not gonna work out for him. I like how he's running mid lane and then die. Good. Let's get plates. Like, I'm totally not worried about this set at all. Okay, wait. One second. That's better. Okay. Good. We got all platings. We got all plates, I mean. <clears throat> now we take this wave. Now we go back afterwards. Nice. So let's get Gore Drinker. Um, then I'm gonna come back with Lucidity Boots. And along with this, I'll obviously get the Red Trinket because we're going to be roaming around soon. We don't need to have Yellow Trinket anymore because the lane is pretty much over right now. Uh, there is a massive fight in bot lane and it's definitely something I want to walk up for. But if I leave my lane right now, he's going to get like multiple platings, which we're definitely not going to give. Oh, seems like he's pretty well aware. I think he's probably roaming mid lane again, I think. Nobody here. He's roaming again. I saw like a, a plan for a second. That's going to get pushed in. I'm thinking about picking up a jungle camp just so I can get like some kind of lead because the set is like constantly walking away. There's Drake spawning right now. But I'm not gonna go Drake now because set is still topside and we can actually kill this guy. I'm not exactly sure where he's going, to be honest. I think he's probably going mid lane. What conflict awaits? Oh, whoops. My bad. Oh, man, you shouldn't have done that. You're giving him a free pass to walk away. Got him. Hmm. Hmm. I got this guy. Or maybe I don't. I'm dead. This guy has too many kills. Oh man, that Graves is pretty strong. He actually just face chank. He actually just sit in my face and needed more damage. And he healed more than I did. Wow. <clears throat> Like, when, when Yumi is sitting on, on, on the graves... Oh man, like, he's, he's gonna do damage. You can't really stop him when he when Yumi is, like, sitting on the graves. Especially when this guy has, like, 7, 8, uh, or 7 or 8 kills. It's not gonna go down anymore. <clears throat> okay, let's run ball lane. Still wonder, though. How did a Fagar and Yumi manage to win against a Jinx and Soraka? <clears throat> it's something that I really wonder. Like, how did that ever happen? That's <clears throat> rare. Like, I don't see how that could ever work. Gotta be careful, though. They could be here. For some reason, we have a Syndra, like, supporting us on the side lanes. <clears throat> Maybe there's something we can take. 
Uh, let's see. He's gonna go down. At least we're getting like one guy. Or at least we're getting multiple people. Oh, whoops. My bad. <clears throat> nice. Wow, well, that, that cube was pretty bad for me. That's not what I intended. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to base again. Uh, this time we're gonna go with... We're not gonna finish this yet, but... Before doing anything, I want to ensure to get Black Lever. Now we can actually go for Chainsword. Like, I had to ensure that... I would have to get Black Lever first, because it, it provides everything I need, right? Rushing a Chainsword as a second item is really bad. I never really do that. Like, unless I got loads of kills and I'm lazy, but... I would, I would never do that. You could rush uh, this item, the second item. That's pretty good to do. Okay. It's going to be a fight in mid lane. I'll see if I can uh, walk up to it. I think we can probably kill all of these guys. Uh, never mind. Whoa! Uh... Never mind. <laughs> okay, I actually had in my mind that I was gonna kill Zed with Ignite. And then jumping into Graves and Faker. And then trying to kill these guys, but... Something halfway, I and I thought like, okay, that's not gonna work. And I already got slumped before I could walk away. My bad. Man, this Graves is fed. This guy has so many kills, man. He's even out-leveling me. Like, I'm level 12. I'm, I'm a top laner. And this guy's the same level like I am. <clears throat> Wait a second. I got exhausted again. Hmm. How many exhausts do they have? I feel like I'm being exhausted like every second. Oh, never mind. I feel like I'm basically being exhausted like every minute. Zed is topside. This guy's dead. This guy's nowhere to run. Sure. I don't think that Zed knows how to play this champ when I saw that. Like, he was so slow at doing the mechanics there. We gotta farm out. Like, this Graves is actually out farming us for, uh, somehow as a jungler. It's not very good. If this Graves continues to farm like this, then I will never be able to kill him with Yumi on his head. Set is bot lane. I'll just wait for my opportunity right now. We might be very lucky and Set could walk in. We gotta be patient for this one. Uh, never mind. It appears that no one comes topside. Man, I lost a lot of farm to wait for that. Only for like no one to come over. Okay. There's these guys right here. Oh, okay, it's looking bad. It's looking really bad. This Yumi, whoever this guy is sitting on, it's, it's going to be bad, man. Like, everybody... If if Yumi sits on Fager, it's a problem. Same thing with Graves. 
See you later. Oh, it's now... Oh, oh man. The wall jump didn't work. <laughs> it was... I was clicking on the wall, but it was... It was... There, it was... Clicking me to this way. So unfortunate. I lost my flash now. This is exactly what I needed. Push next wave. This Graves is doing the Baron right now. He's doing it. I don't think they even noticed. Oh, I'm very glad that they're do not doing it anymore. I think that this is too risky. They have vision. Okay, they're going back. I'm happy that they, they haven't done it. Because I think they could have probably fight us anyway if they stayed for more. Uh, maybe there's a rep buff I could take. Nope. Take this wife. No one's here because there's nothing to take. I can buy Chainsword now. That's going to counter Graves. Like, that's my only way to counter this guy. Like, he's got so much healing from everything. Ooh, Seth was bottling. I could try to kill Seth again. I've got to stay away from Fager. Seems like this guy's getting kills. Nice. Honestly, I think if my team groups up, we can probably beat them in some way. Hmm. This guy's pushing. Graves is uh, down with this uh, with the set. Nah, you're not going to get me. Or... <laughs> that was on the edge. Wow. He got the movement speed from Fager, and then he stuns me, like, right on the edge. Like, it actually didn't even line up perfectly. Wow. <laughs> what an unfortunate game, man. I don't think he's, he can do anything. Seriously, the only problem in this game, I'm telling you straight up, this Yumi is buffing everybody. It, Whoever Yumi sits on becomes OP. If this guy sits on Fager, like, he's going to be able to, like, move out and in, like, move back and forth the whole time. If he sits on the Graves, then the Graves becomes too OP. Uh, got this guy. Could maybe kill all of these guys. Come on, team. They could kill them quite easily. Oh, this guy's like sidestepping everything. Wow. All right, cool. We got some kills. Yeah, you can you can definitely tell in this game that like half of the game is a smurf and like the other half of the game are people that just that are regular solo queue players. You can see that. That's that's the unfortunate thing about like playing in smurf queue. There's a clear difference in skill in, in each in each player. This game. That's why it feels that's why that's why you see this Zed going like two and twelve and this guy like one and nine, and then you see like Graves going like Nine kills in this Vega are going like 14 kills. It feels very, um, 
how can I put it, unnatural, like these kind of solo queue games because of the smurf queue. Like Riot designed this smurf queue to help the players uh, not getting matched with smurf players anymore. So what they do is they force regular solo queue players to play and fill up the smurf queue games to make it even worse for them. Like that's... Ba they're basically making this the, the whole system even worse with that with whatever they're trying to do there. That's why it's so in that's why this game feels so unnatural. Hmm. I need to get a Guardian's Angel actually. Could maybe try not to kill these guys. Let's take a look. There's no ward down here. They don't see me. It's probably the best chance we'll have. Oh, I'm instantly dead. I tried going in for set right now because I saw Graves right here. Uh, passing through this ward right here. So this was the best chance we could have possibly had. Because if they started grouping up right now, we have definitely lost. But yeah, like I said earlier, guys. This Fagar, once Yumi gets on them, you can't kill Fagar anymore. Same thing with Graves. It, it, these guys can't be killed right now. Just like I was afraid of. But yeah. Let's... Uh, See, like, how much damage we did. Pretty unfortunate game. It's taking such a long time. Alright. Let's take a look and see how much damage we did. This will be the most interesting part. And see, of course, how much LP we're going to lose as well. Actually been, like, one of my first losses on the, on the series since, uh, since, like, the last, like, 10, 15 games or something like that. Yeah, we got minus 8. We're now 6 LP, Platinum 4. Uh, for the damage, we've done 13.1k damage. And for the runes, uh, this is what we've been using, guys. Now, one more thing. Uh, before this entire YouTube video ends, guys, uh, this game is being played live on stream, guys. If you want to see me play live, definitely make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching today's YouTube video. See you guys, see you guys next time. Peace.